So I've lost a lot of weight with OMAD and fasting, and I've learned a lot on my journey. And I want you guys to think of fasting in these metabolic diets. So that's any diet that puts you in a low blood sugar state. That could be keto, carnivore, etc. I want you guys to think of these diets as tools. They are tools to help you metabolically repair. There are tools to help you start to get rid of that resistant weight loss. But I want you to understand that weight loss truly happens when you learn how to properly eat. It happens in the kitchen, not with fasting. Why is that? You can't fast forever, right? We need to be able to eat. The human body is designed to be able to eat. So if you're heavily depending on fasting for weight loss, you will always be in a situation where you will put on that weight. Now, what I like about one meal a day, OMAD, it is a happy medium between fasting and eating. You're fasting for the majority of the day, but you are still eating in a small eating window. And when you're eating in that small eating window, it's teaching you how to properly eat and portion control. And you get the benefits of fasting and being in the metabolic switch, you know, low blood sugar, ketones, you're going into fat burning state, your body's using its resources on itself to help heal itself. Too many people go wrong in that they think a diet is the magic answer. The diet is not the magic answer. It's the tool. You are the magic answer. Your habits are the magic answer. You need to learn how to retrain how you eat. Now, after doing OMAD for over a year, I have now transitioned into eating throughout the day. And guess what? My satiety signals are a-okay. I'm under control. I have no desire to binge. I just had a bagel with some cheese and some salami and a quinoa salad with it. I'm learning how to eat foods that are going to help nurture my body for the gym or just nurture my body for life. And I just want you guys to understand that. Now, if you're on your weight loss journey and you're trying to get things going, you use OMAD, you use keto, you use the carnivore diet, and you use extending fast as tools to help your metabolic system. Basically, when we are overweight and obese, for years, we've done a lot of metabolic damage with the food we are eating, the um, chemical pies we have out there. If you look at ingredients of any fast foods or heck, go in the you know aisles of the grocery store or some frozen food, you'll see that the food isn't really food. They're food-like substances because you'll see the word potato with a bunch of like chemical names or you'll see the word beef with a bunch of chemical names. So these chemicals and these toxic ingredients and of course fructose i talked about fructose and how it damages our mitochondria and damages our overall metabolic health they're all damaging our metabolic health they're making us metabolically ill so we're seeing rise in obesity because people's satiety signals are, are off due to food addiction caused by fructose people's metabolic system is damaged they have low energy their mitochondria is sluggish it's not working well you have to approach omad fasting in these diets as tools to help heal your metabolism to help heal your metabolic health to help go in and access those deep storage blood sugars that are stored in our fat stored in our glycogen storage you got to look at it as that way and i highly recommend as anyone they're going on with their journey especially if they've lost a substantial amount of weight practice throwing in shorter days of fasting maybe do an 18 hour fast and see if you can eat in a six hour eating window or throw in a 16 hour fast the power with our metabolism lies in our ability to be able to switch in and out of these two metabolic states. The metabolic state where we are becoming a fat burner as opposed to a sugar burner and the metabolic state where we are a sugar burner. If you can healthily switch in and out of that, you have good metabolic health. If you can healthily just jump into a fast, you have good metabolic health. Me, for example, today I didn't want to eat, but I have to eat because I'm training at the gym and I'm trying to build muscle. But my body was A-OK -okay with fasting. That tells me I've done a lot of metabolic healing. Tomorrow, I'm going to jump into a OMAD fast after eating throughout the day for about two weeks on end. And my body is not you know, killing me with hunger. That shows that I'm reversing my metabolic damage and I'm getting healthy. 
Dr. Mindy Peltz, who I talk about a lot on my channel, she says a key indicator of metabolic health is being able to transition in and out of these states without trouble. So doing like, you know, prolonged fasting, keto, OMAD, etc. for a really long time will help repair that metabolic damage. But please know you are not married to these diets. I see too many people, too many YouTubers out there trying to stick into, you know, the, the mold of being an old matter or just fasting on end on end, doing rolling fast. But a lot of them, most of them are regaining a substantial amount of weight and they're starting close to their starting weight. I think it's so important that you have the ability to switch in and out of different diets. I think that's the take home message for you. And um, you need to learn how to properly eat. Now I'm gonna drop in some tips on how to learn how to properly eat. You want your meal to at least contain 20 to 25 grams of protein per meal. You wanna have some source of fiber in that meal. It could be something like quinoa, it could be fruits, vegetables. Um, it could be maybe a, a protein supplement with like chia seeds in it and flax seeds which are great for you so you want your plate to kind of look like that that have a bit of carbs and of course some fats you want to have a normal looking plate and after eating that you should not be craving foods afterwards you should not be in a situation where i feel like eating the whole house trust me i was in that for years only recently did i realize like wow i can eat a meal and not feel like i want to go eat again so I was correcting the physiological dependency I had with food addiction. It got corrected through OMAD. It got cor corrected through making that metabolic switch for a prolonged period of time. So I want everyone to get to this point in their journey where they're in control, where food is not in control of them. You don't have to stick to one diet. I'm a big believer in metabolic flexibility. Another tip to help you learn how to eat properly is to calorie count. I highly recommend find some way of tracking your calories because if you don't know what you're eating, how the heck do you expect to change? How do you ex expect to manipulate things? This is one thing I don't understand about anyone on a weight loss journey. People who don't track, they say tracking's you know, tedious, it's a task. What's a task, staying unhealthy or obese or learning how to track your calories, learning some new healthy habits. People need to get over their mental roadblocks. Like it boggles my mind. You cannot expect to see a significant change in your life if you yourself are not willing to significantly change. If you're not willing to significantly change your habits, your attitude towards things that you need to do to make sure you get healthy. Another thing, exercise. Exercise needs to be a part of everyone's routine. Now, you don't have to be like me going to the gym about how often I go to the gym. Like, five, six times a week, working out maybe one to two hours at a time, sometimes three, you don't need to do that. But if you just, you know, easily go for a walk after eating dinner, a lot of people have lost weight just with going on an evening walk, an hour evening walk daily. Little things, these little things add up. So the key to all of this is learning how to balance in it to use these tools to get to where you wanna be. Remember, weight loss does not happen with fasting. It happens in the kitchen. That's where weight loss happens. It happens in the kitchen, not with fasting. Get that through your head. Fasting is just a mode of healing. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word eating. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.